Tony Accardo, known as Joe Batters, was a legendary figure in the world of organized crime. Born on April 28, 1906, in Chicago, Accardo rose through the ranks of the notorious Chicago outfit to become one of the most influential and feared mob bosses in American history. With a shrewd mind, strategic thinking, and a low-key approach, Accardo orchestrated countless criminal activities while maintaining a relatively low public profile. This video explores the enigmatic life of Tony Accardo and his impact on the Chicago underworld. Tony Accardo grew up in the Italian-American neighborhoods of Chicago, witnessing the growth and power of organized crime during the Prohibition era. He started his criminal career as a trusted enforcer and hitman for Al Capone, earning him the nickname Joe Batters for his skill with a baseball bat. With his reputation for extreme violence and a cool demeanor, Accardo quickly gained the trust and respect of his superiors, navigating the dangerous world of organized crime in Chicago. As the years passed, Accardo's influence within the Chicago outfit grew. In 1947, he succeeded Frank the Enforcer Nitty as the overseer of the organization, effectively becoming the boss. Unlike his predecessors, Accardo adopted a more low-profile approach, preferring to operate discreetly and avoid unnecessary attention from law enforcement. This strategy proved successful, allowing him to evade prosecution and maintain control over the Chicago outfit for more than two decades. Under Accardo's leadership, the Chicago outfit expanded its criminal operations, including illegal gambling, loan sharking, narcotics trafficking, and labor unions infiltration. Accardo was known for being a successful gambling operator, accumulating immense wealth and influence through his control of lucrative casinos and bookmaking operations. Through smart alliances and strategic decision-making, he ensured that the Chicago outfit remained a dominant force in organized crime. Accardo's ability to maintain a low profile and avoid criminal charges became notorious. Despite facing numerous investigations by law enforcement agencies, he skillfully navigated a legal minefield, escaping conviction and jail time. His close relationship with corrupt politicians, law enforcement officers, and judges contributed to his untouchable status, further solidifying his grip on power. As Accardo entered his later years, he gradually stepped back from his leadership role in the Chicago outfit, transitioning into a retirement phase. He maintained a wealthy and comfortable lifestyle, enjoying golf, philanthropy, and time with his family. Even in retirement, his influence and respect within the underworld remained intact until his death on May 22, 1992. Tony Accardo's legacy as a mob boss and strategist lives on in the annals of organized crime history. Though operating in the shadows, his skillful maneuvering and ability to evade justice allowed him to wield immense power and control over the Chicago outfit for decades. Accardo's story transcends the criminal world, providing a glimpse into the complex and enduring nature of organized crime in America.